I'm Subway Rossini. Welcome to Odds and Ends. No way. I'm Subway Brooke. Oh my god. Free Subways for Life team. Free for life. Woo! Yes. <laughs> 10,000 people applied to change their name to Subway to win subs for life. You must really have to like subs to do that. Look, I'm a sandwich girl through and through. I love me a good sandwich. Yes. But I would never change my name to Subway. As it's nice that the idea is to have free subs for life. I could never do that. Subway? It's not even a nice name for a restaurant. Maybe if the restaurant's name was nicer, <laughs> like, I don't know, like Kelsey's or Ooh. Moxie's, like something pretty, but Subway? So Subway's Subway Name Change Challenge offered free subs for life to one lucky person. I am very curious to find out who that winner is. I know. <laughs> we could find no record of the winner being announced. So people all, they all changed their names and then there wasn't even a winner? Is some kind of prank or something? <laughs> like, it revolves, now you're stuck with Subway as your name for life. Regardless, whichever <laughs> way it is, I still think it's crazy. Is there any food that's worth it to you? Would you change uh, your name to like Pizza Brooks if you got free pizza for life? <laughs> Oh, it depends what kind, baby. No, I could never do it. I don't know. I think Bubble Tea Rossini has a nice ring to it. That actually sounds kind of sexy. Right? <laughs> People are upset again about a sculpture of a busty human body with a seagull's head. Isn't it the cutest sculpture? I think it's the cutest sculpture ever. Like, I loved it. So it's a female body with breasts, with the head of a seagull, and it represents female empowerment. Residents complained that it was too sexually suggestive. Come on. And it was moved several <laughs> times before returning. Despite the artist adding a skirt and a bikini top, residents complained again and created a petition to remove it. And I bet you it was all women. They were all jealous that that seagull had better tits than them. Yeah, like can we just be happy and em embrace this cute, cool looking sculpture I seagull? Know. Like I think it's hilarious. Yeah. I can see like one person saying something to a friend in conversation, but to make a petition? Like, can we just lighten up please? Like, it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> but you know what? No luck so far. So the seagull still stands. <laughs> I love the seagull. I would like to see it in person. Me too. <laughs> A Japanese woman was arrested for repeatedly calling emergency services because she was lonely. How lonely are you? Or you really like a man in a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you're on to something. Yeah. So the 51-year-old woman allegedly made 2,761 emergency calls. Oh my, that's crazy. Now I'm starting to feel bad. I, no. <laughs> I initially was laughing at her, but now I'm feeling bad. I mean, I'm both. It's funny, but it's all at the same time. It's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so she was charged with obstructing the fire department's operations. Okay. I think you're right. She wanted mm. some hot, sexy men mm -hmm. to show up to her house. I do love me a man in a uniform. <laughs> She'd claim various illnesses and overdoses. Then when emergency services arrived, she would deny she made the calls. Okay. See, now I'm thinking there's a little bit more going on with her. Mm -hmm. Maybe she just needs some good old fashioned therapy. <laughs> just go to therapy, there's another human being in the room and that will be your company. That's a wrap on this week's Odds and Ends. Of course, we still have lots more to share with you. That's right, so be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be notified whenever we drop a new video. So what are you waiting for? See you again soon.